Hi, it's Hamish again from the Guitar Factory School. How are you going? I'd like to talk about an interesting little pentatonic scale that um, you might find useful. It's called the Lydian Pentatonic Scale. And it goes 1, 3, sharp 4, 5, 7. So it's got all the goodies in there to create like a nice Lydian major 7 chord. Major 7 sharp 11, major 7 flat 5, however you want to call it. And uh, let's check it out. Right, we'll kick start this off in A, so we're looking at making this work over an A major 7 sharp 11 sort of sound. And I'll just talk you through it. It goes first thing on fret 5 bottom E string, pinky on fret 9 on the bottom E string. So first finger on fret number 6 on the A string, second finger on fret number 7 on the A string. D string now, fret number 6, fret number 7. So we've got a nice little bit of symmetry there. We think. So fret 6, fret 7, A string, fret 6, fret 7, D string. Putting it together, fret 5, fret 9, E string, 6, 7, A string, 6, 7, D string. string, first finger fret 5, fret 9 on the top E string. So we've got a nice bit of symmetry there too on the top string. Okay, so I'm configuring the scale on purpose with a view to doing two notes per string. So it's the same idea as our minor pentatonic thing, but so that's going to work pretty nicely over that kind of chord. The thing I like about this one is that it's root note friendly, so if you're wanting to colour a major chord with a Lydian sound, you might be aware of the fact that we can think the semitone now from the root and get G sharp minor pentatonic scale, and we create a colour of a Lydian sound by using the minor pentatonic, a semitone down from the root of the chord. That's kind of a two-step operation. We have to think A, so therefore, you know, G sharp to get the sort of sound that we want. That's not that hard to do, but with this sort of pattern, we're thinking the root of the chord equals the root of the scale. So that's very user-friendly for us guitar players, I think. Also, it really spells out the chord in a very strong way. We're thinking one, three, five, which is a major triad. It's got the seven in there, so it's a major seven arpeggio, but it's also got the sharp four. So one, three, sharp four, five, seven. Like every other pentatonic scale, there's a whole bunch of different ways of playing these, so um, you would know perhaps that with you a minor pentatonic scale, we've got five box shapes, five patterns that we can play up. It's the same with this as well, so we've got a whole bunch of patterns that we can get down, running up, running up the fretboard, etc, etc. I'm not going to show them to you. You can go to the printout that will come up as a link to check them out, and you can read it off that practice playing obviously songs that use Lydian sorts of sound so um, modern jazz perhaps like Chick Corea or Wayne Shorter those sorts of people Joe Henderson will hear those sorts of sounds quite a bit even with a lot of progressive rock guys you'll hear that sound so there is a spot for this so in, in metal music as well in progressive rock not just jazz music okay so a good way to get these under your playing is to practice going from one kind of chord to another so A major 7 sharp 11 to D major 7 sharp 11 and practice running from one kind of pattern to the other so what I did just then was I played an A 
Lydian pentatonic, the one that we've been talking about. Then I moved to a D Lydian pentatonic scale, but I kept it in the same spot. So the D Lydian pentatonic octave to octave would be exactly the same pattern. So first finger on the A string, fret 5, then fret 9 on the A string, fret 6, fret 7, D string, fret 6, fret 7 on the G string. And spelling out that kind of major 7 sharp 11 chord. We keep on moving it up. Now we're about to go onto the B string from fret 7 and we roll across our second finger to get fret 7 on the B string, then pinky on fret 9 on the B string, then first finger on fret 5 on the top E, then fret 9 on the top E string. And you think about anything on the top E string, it's the same as the bottom. So if we want to continue down below the root note on the D string, we've got available notes on the bottom E string as well. That would be fret 9 and fret 5. So what I'm getting at here is that you can run through all these different positions alternating from A to D. Then you move up to the next position of the E. A Lydian pentatonic scale, then you go to the D, Lydian, the corresponding D. Lydian pentatonic in that area. So that's quite a bit of work there, and if you go to the sheet there, um, that explains pretty clearly, I think, how to do that. So rather than watching me going over that right now, that's just a good way to introduce them into your playing, I think, and get used to the patterns. And of course, with the other pentatonic scales, like like all pentatonic scales, you can reconfigure these to three notes per string or two note, three note patterns. You can strip them apart and play them any way you want. But I just like to go for the two note per string pattern because psychologically it feels a bit more like a um, like a minor pentatonic scale, which we all started playing. I think, say with the all your old pentatonic patterns that you play, you know. start to use your other patterns that you know and readapt them.